Hey. Hey folks, like you can see, we have a special guest tonight. You know, Snow has uh, decided to come join us and we have seen him in a while and we're excited to uh, have him on for our 330th um, reflection. And today's reflections, it's a little bit, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'll explain. I'll, 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 I'll let Chris do it. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, the book for the day is uh, the book called The Boys in the Boat, Nine Americans and Their Epic Quest for Gold at the 1936 Berlin Olympics uh, by uh, Daniel James Brown. You guys, you guys ever heard of the story or heard of the, heard of the, I think, I think they made a movie out of it actually. Um, uh, I'm, don't quote me on that one. I, but um, but I feel like this is like one of those, like uh unbroken kind of books like you know um that uh, uh remember that that book that um the the movie that angelina jolie was in um uh unbroke it's like one of these like epic like stories that like became like this huge national bestseller um about mm -hmm. a true story uh that, mm -hmm. you know and anyway so this this book's about about this rowing team the U u.s rowing team that won the gold in 1936 olympics and and mm -hmm. um and there's you know it's about the boys in the boat nine nine americans that, that that won this that won this race so first and foremost uh this is an incredible book if you guys have never read this book before <laughs> i was like i was like man like strapped in from start to finish like just you know just couldn't stop i mean it was it mm. was amazing like it was such a good story um oh. uh, it it was um it's like it's like watching like hoosiers for the first time or like you know rudy or whatever it's like one of those stories yeah. where it's like Oh my God! Like you know, like everything was like, the way that they weaved it in and out, and like the whole story about coming together as a team, and and it was such a such a cool story, man. Um, the uh, uh, the the title for this one was um, uh, I'm a swinger um, question mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll well, I'll explain it in a second here, but uh, uh, but man, like there's this uh, the, the the two stars of this of this book, in my personal opinion, were uh, this guy named uh, George Pocock. Uh, he was like uh, uh, do you guys remember the the movie um, uh, the Mighty Ducks? Um, you, you guys ever seen? Oh the yeah, Mighty of Ducks? course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you remember uh, that old guy Hans that like Gordon Bombay would go visit whenever he had like yeah you know, moral yep, conundrum. Yep, you know, yep. uh, uh, true. Do you know what I'm talking about? The, the old uh, German guy that was like you know yeah, 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 yeah. Skates, you know yeah, and uh, yeah, and yeah, you know yeah, uh, yeah. so like George Pocock is like the Hans of of this this group he's like he's like this expert boat maker um uh like rowing maker like handcrafting and he's like you know he only makes like handcrafted boats for like the most premium sought after boats in the world and you know he was a big part of this whole thing but he would just like sit and watch the team a University of Washington rowing team so th this team started at the University of Washington right um so. This was like a college team that came together and then they won the the, the U.S. trials um, as with the same crew. And then they, uh, you know, went on to uh, um, to the Olympics as, as the same crew from it was the same crew all the way through from like freshman year when they meet at like University of Washington all the way through to the Olympics. And then they've like had this incredible connection, uh, you know, for the rest of their lives because of everything they went through together. And uh, and George Pocock was like like the the dude that would like make boats and he also lived in the washington area so he would like come by and like watch them row out on lake washington and stuff like that and he would just kind of sit and do his thing and uh their 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 coach um uh his name was al olberkson he was like this became this like really famous like coach and whatever but like pocock was like just in the background just watching going mm -hmm, oh yeah you know i see what you guys are doing and, the, and then when they were a little lost and needed some help that he was like their sole teacher he would come over and he would give them guidance and, you know, like Hans shepherding skates and get their moral mm -hmm, compasses mm -hmm. all together. And like, you know, like, you know, psych <laughs> psychologically like train them and everything. And it was, it, it's, it was just a cool story, man. It's a, it's a really, really cool story. Um, so the, um, uh, the, the, one of the, the thing that I learned um, a new word in this book that, that I, that I absolutely love. So you guys both know flow state, right? I mean, everybody knows what flow state the is. Flow, yeah, 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 yeah. So like individually, right? When you get into that, just that flow, doing meaningful work and you're, you're just, you know, it feels like time just flies by and you're like effortlessly, you know, doing what you're doing. It seems like, you know, we're the perfect skill level mm -hmm. and challenge at the same time, you know, all, all comes together at one, right? Um, so that's, that's a pretty well-known, I guess, you know, just general thing out there in the world. Um, well, uh, I learned a new term in rowing. I didn't know anything. Do you guys know anything about rowing at all? Like a little bit. Do you? Okay. So have you ever heard the term, uh, uh, swing, uh, in rowing? Like, you know, they, the, they got to find their swing. No. Okay. Um, so 
I didn't know shit about Rowan before that I read this book. Like, like zero. And I still don't know a lot, but I know a little oh, bit. Oh, I know. Like, there's, there's a coxman. You can catch a crab, and there's a couple yes. people in a boat. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, there's different types of boats. This is the the um, this is the, the eight crew um, boat. Um, uh, so this, I think it's like the biggest boat they have. Like the yeah. This is like the most prestigious, I think, of the of the you know the full team eight you know full men with the the cox cox wayne or whatever his name is cox, cox, coxman yeah, yeah. Coxman, yeah um the um all right so uh so apparently when when um uh, there's this thing in rowing that's like this really really rare thing like really really rare where uh they call it swing it's when um uh here i'll just read how they describe it uh because it's better than um it's it says there's this thing that sometimes happens in rowing it's hard to achieve and hard to define it's called swing it only happens when all eight oarsmen are rowing in such perfect unison. Oh, no uh -huh. single action by one is out of sync with any of the others in the boat. Uh -huh. It's like this perfect swing. They're like, yep, it's like they're you. all, it's like a simultaneous shared flow state, basically, yep. right? Which is amongst a group of people, which is like kind of insane. Like, I, I mean, to, to even think about, you know, it's really hard for you to get into your own flow state, right? To think that you've somehow synced up your, you know, flow uh -huh. states with eight other people. And, you know, and that's the, the term they call it in rowing is, is swing, right? Um, yep. and, uh, and it, and it got me thinking about like, you know, like, um, you know, I was like, that's a really cool concept, you know? And, and then I started to think about this as, um, uh, as I was writing on this particular day and, um, you know, I, I was, I have jokingly said, you know, I think Amelia and I are swingers because like, like, I feel like every single day when I sit down to go, right. Right. Like I, I come into this and I'm like, I'm just don't know what the fuck I'm going to talk about. You know, I'm, I'm tired. I'm groggy and whatever. And it's like somehow magically in the middle of all this, like, you know, this whole entire process is is living for two right and and like amelia and i doing this stuff together every single day and and uh i don't know man it just like magically seems like words just pop out of my head and you know amelia and i are just doing our thing in the mornings and doing whatever else the stuff that we're doing every single day and then out pops this like great reflection where i go back and i read them now and i'm like holy fuck like we wrote that like i mean i didn't know that you know um and uh and yeah it just feels feels uh like i feel like i kind of understand what swing is a little bit uh, you know after mm -hmm. i was writing through this and reading through it and and, um, uh, you know, it makes me think more and more about the idea around, you know, what we're basing clubbing on, which is meaningful work and meaningful connections, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Meaningful relationships, which is, you know, meaningful work, finding that flow state stuff that you love to do, but then connecting it with other people and trying to do it all together in a group. There's just something more magical about it, man, when, when you can, that's, I think it's one of the things that unites humans together and pushes us forward. You know, swing is like probably our superpower, you know, like to be able to, to be in, in, in lockstep and connection with like mm -hmm. a, a group of other people doing yeah it makes me think of like people going to battle too and like you know an army would just you know just for some reason just had it you know just like whatever that flow state was in them or something or right. you know i have no idea what that was like or is like but you know it's wild though right that we can that we can do this so so the, so yeah. the question uh is uh you know are, are you a swinger number one like do you have a group of people you're doing this stuff with every single doing your meaningful work with every day but then second you know, just about the concept overall of swing and, you know, how, how it impacts humanity, meaningful relationships, all that good stuff. So I'd love, love to get your guys' thoughts. Yeah. Um, God, I mean, it, it, I, I wish I was in swing with more people. Uh, it just sounds so uh, sort of purpose of life in a way, in terms of, you know, we aren't a single island and no one ever, no one ever is, you know, in terms of even how we are upbringing and where every, where anyone got to where they are. And, um, I think it is a beautiful thing to be in swing of pe with people. And I know I've actually been thinking about, I like to be social like one day a week, almost like, you know, during the week. And yeah. I went to trivia last night with some friends, but nice. trivia is really not my thing. I don't know. It's totally <laughs> like, you know but like, uh, but I thought about like maybe joining like a choir group or something like that. And, you know, so I think of that, like being in that flow cool. state, let's say like you're all on the perfect pitch or whatever, just, you know, all amateur singers. So it's probably not, not great, but just still that 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 idea and, and there's different levels i think too of that yeah. flow compared to if you're mm -hmm. um you know an expert athlete and um so i think it can be hard for me to find people to swing with uh i mean it literally makes me think of, like dancing like, sometimes i would like be dancing I, I don't know if you knew i you know i used to do swing, swing dancing a little bit no and, i didn't know that yeah that's yeah, nice. yeah and, and, and some 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 dancers you just completely have like such a great flow with and I it maybe a little bit of me, but it's obviously like a little bit of like them too. And it's uh it it's some really just kind of like, you know, magical. Let's say even just you're on beat with all the music and like the little like accents of the music and it's really great. So um it's it's I think it is kind of one of those like experiences of awe it to is. be in in um in swing, you know, or in kind of tune in that flow zone with other people. And 
I think it is uh and, and I wonder if it is like an awe thing that actually like helps build bonding because I think it's like it was really important for us when we evolved to you know be able to trust people and be yeah. a, a close knit because like there was you know it's, shit was real back in the day <laughs> <laughs> it's real still so, I mean it's just, yeah, it's just yeah, problems yeah. but you know but uh so I think uh yeah, I think I I think I need to find more people to swing with is what I'm saying. And I do get a lot out of it. But I think it can also be even something like when I'm taking my students on a better backpacking trip, we always do once a year for my students. You know, even if we're going to hike into the woods, like it can all even just even seem like we're that like we're all in step. We're all like maybe in a zone. Some students are chatting, but it's just like a, a natural kind of like aura, like, you know, just of uh, it, it feels like it's occurring, like everyone's just being their self, how they want to be, you know which yep. can be kind of easier out in nature, I feel like. so And, and complimenting each other along the way, you know. It's like yeah. the, the, the boys in the boat, like, you know, each one of them, not all of them were the best athletes, you know, necessarily, but it was like when they they, they actually experimenting with removing a few of them in and out and, like, where they thought was a weaker person in the in the, in uh -huh. the boat, and then the, the boat would get worse, like, you know, and they're like, why is this happening? It's, it, was, it wasn't because – it was because they were in such lockstep together and they'd been training for so long together. Yeah. They, they just knew – how they knew how to make each other collectively better versus like individual. Uh -huh. it, I mean, it's just such a, like a, like a cool concept. I think of like watching, like um, there was this, the, the Beatles um, uh, had that, I was like a Netflix show or, or maybe it was on Apple TV or something like that um, uh, over, I think the summer or last year where they, where they um, uh, showed them making an album together, yeah. like one of their last albums before they broke up. And yep. um, and it was wild watching their their creative process. It was like they would just sit down and they would have like a couple lyrics on a page, and then like an hour later Before they would have you know, like, yeah, they one have of the most hit. famous songs in the history of the world. Like yeah. you know that you would that, you know uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds or whatever. Yeah. And, you're, and you're like, how the fuck did that just happen? They're yeah. like, they're like, no, 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 you do this and you do that and you do this and let's try this, you know. And then all of a sudden it's like, poof, you know, and you're like, what the fuck? Like you know yeah. how did, how is that possible? You know, it's a I mean that yeah, it's just like pretty well, magical. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. I, mean, yeah, I think it's just, it's just like I mean it's it's it, it's it's that whatever we people always talk about. Oh, there's chemistry there. There's chemistry and like so so not like yeah. What the fuck is chemistry? Because it, it sounds like something you can like see. It's not like some physical lines drawn or something. But it just it just can happen. And you know whether it's chemistry between you and your partner or a basketball team. You know the what the nineteen ninety five six Bulls or something. You know it's it, uh. It's 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 the it's the the whole is is more than the sum of the parts is I guess you're kind of alluding to with the yeah. boys in the boat you know for sure yeah I mean yeah that's true and I are swingers I mean we've been swinging every night for uh, <laughs> uh for for 330 episodes of of, uh, <laughs> of Yomo I mean like no joke man we uh like we talk about just pop on this podcast every night and we're you know it's like it can be in the shittiest mood beforehand or tired as hell or whatever and then all of a sudden like like it just I don't know. Like we just go into like this, this weird place and like mm -hmm. oof, an hour later, an hour and 20 minutes later, or whatever, however long it is, we like look up and we're like, fuck, I got to go to bed, you know, like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's every fucking night, you know? Uh, and it's in, like you said, you know, you just, you just, I mean, play off each other's energy and, and helps each other to, you know, when you're in your own, you're doing stuff you love to do together, you know, it's like, it just makes each other better. I don't know. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Love to get your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, for me, and I, I think yeah, I agree. I mean, I as far as um, what we do as a human, um, a human individual, we need to have, um, I guess, the unison of other people, meaning, i.e., meaningful relationship. And for me, is I'm I look at life as a team sport because you cannot play life by yourself. And a lot of times, when 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 you have a, a, a teammate because you know you mentioned about the flow state right you can get in into a flow state individually mm -hmm. but you can actually uh, be able to be uh, nudged into a, a, a flow state very, very easier once you have that uh, teammate with a uh, with a meaningful relationship like you and I talk about mantra the other day right mm -hmm. when, when you and I talk about people must stand we're talking about the uh, the double one for train these mantra are essentially it usher us into that that flow state so easily. So so as a team, you you can like transition into that flow state without much effort because the team actually builds up what you have and what you lack. 
and I, and when you when you have that, I think you know, and I think this is why um, a team in rhythm is going to be so so much more formidable than a team with you know big players, great players, whatever. If a team is in unison, like you don't have to be the best, like each individual uh, contributor doesn't have to be the best of the best. But if the team are in rhythm, once they're in the rhythm, the flow state starts to spread. Like it's just mm-hmm. like it, it starts to to cascade among the team, and these guys become so much more than themselves. And this is why it reminds me of how human species have been able to become the apex. Um, animal in the animal kingdom yeah. not because they are strongest not because they're the fastest not because they are you know we are not you know the top of any of those traits we don't have uh the sharpest teeth we don't have the the top of skin we don't have the fastest speed but yet we're able to like we go on a hunt right we don't have to go and sit there and explain to another person like an hour to say hey this is how we do things all I have to do is give you a signal. I, I, I give you a hand wave or I give you an eye gesture. I'll look around, right? These are the, the, the triggers of the mantra that you and I talked about the other day. It gets us into a union state and we can really yeah. rapidly understand one another. And that's the thing is when 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 we have a person, um, what we talked about yesterday is about sharing, right, Chris? Mm-hmm. You, when you share with somebody, but that, that person that you're sharing with, is able to be to be, be some receptive of the idea, right? This is when your energy start to be in line, and right. it's going to add, and then you get more energy out of it, and it speeds up the process, and you're able to uh, come up with like really, really like genius ideas and concept out of that. And like you talk about the mention of Beatles as well, as you know, these guys have already a a history together, and they understand the other. In, in a way that you and I understand because we have been doing this for so long that a lot yeah. of things that you and I talk about, it's it's very, um, I mean, it's clear to you and me what we're talking about when we're talking about meaningful relationship, we right. talk about meaning, meaningful You don't have to work, explain or, it to me, right? You just, you right? just say a word and I and that, that zooms back, you know, years of, of conversations and I'm like, oh yeah, I know what you mean. We can, we were, that baseline's mm-hmm. gone. Let's move, let's elevate forward. And then, you know? and then yeah. when, when you take that and you elevate to the next level, it's so right. easy to go to the next level because if you're talking about go from zero to that level, it is monu- mon- monumental just, just because there's so much stuff that we, we, we've done. Just talking about Yomo itself, we're looking at 330 episodes. When we look at it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge feat just to have uh, <laughs> that many <laughs> that's a, that's episodes a on a daily basis. And, th- yeah. and not only that you have the episode, you have to read the books, right? Mm-hmm. Write the reflection, mm-hmm. go on to, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the Yomo and blog talk about it, thing. make a blog post. More. So you think about 330 blog posts and 30 uh, you know, episodes of podcast, that's a lot of work. But because of the way that we have, because I mean, even for me and you to talk about these things in general, right, without the building blocks of what we did in the past, we wouldn't be able to get to this point where we, hey, yeah, this is how human uh, nature is going to, you know, shape the humanity and it's how, how, like you say, the 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 evolutions of of humans via you know this character, that superpower, and whatnot, and I think you know that builds up along the way that we really take for granted just because we say, hey, you know what we did, it's just not. I mean, you don't say, hey, you don't judge a person by one episode because you know you have to take on um, their whole entire experience because I can go to you as a ser- expert sales person and say, hey, Chris, can you give me uh, a strategy to to sell this widget, right? And you say, hey, you know, I'll give you five minutes. It's not five minutes you spend. It's your 20 years of experience right. that you're giving me. So it's not the same thing. But this is mm-hmm. why you, that's why the interesting part is when when you mention the Beatles and how they can, you know, come up with a great song by, you know, just get together and, you know, play some beats and then then you have to wall out. This, the collectiveness of the human power, um, it's, it's so, it's so vast. In, in my mind, because like you say, it's it's one of those things that we are able to build on build on top of the other's knowledge and energy. Because as long as the 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 wavelengths are are the same, i.e., you're in rhythm. Like like you go on dancing, for example, right? When you're in rhythm, right? They, you get into the rhythm because of the beat, because 
they tap or they make some kind of gesture, you can get into a rhythm so easy just because there is a external, um, I guess a guy of sort, and we are born or built for picking up rhythms, picking up patterns. Yep. And I think that's that's for us in 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 kind of like the reflection of this particular um I guess the uh, the uh, the boys in the boat, you know, these guys are essentially a mini a mini a mini uh, a miniature version of human species. You, yeah. you think about it, they 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 collectively are one. You're talking about they are all individual, but yeah, they it's are not it's one not individuals. Boat. It's it's it was but they one are one boat. boat. Yeah. You think yeah. about it if 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 not if uh, if one of them are out of rhythm, the boat is going to not gonna go well and won't go that fast. They but catch a crab. <laughs> you think about you think about the 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 whole rowing team. They are one for the boat to go in that way, in that fast, and that speed. So, so you yeah. think about the hunt in in the in the ancient days, where you know you have a a, a group of people, ten, eight to ten people, right? You know, just like this this team here, they wear, they they go and hunt hunt a gazelle or Willie mammoth or saber tooth tiger, or whatever you whatever there's out there, and they they hunt them and successfully. This yeah. is this is how this is how we're still here today. Because if not, then you and I would not exist today, just because they were not able to get into rhythm, into unison as uh, as his team. So that trait is, uh, I think, is the innate trait that human being is uh, given that no one else has. Just like we talk about, mm-hmm. hey, dogs, they don't talk to each other. Hey, don't shit on on the carpet, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? I mean, this old dog has been trained for like ten years. 15 years and then they can bring a new dog and the dog shit to the carpet and then I'm not saying, okay. Yeah, I, don't I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you know. <laughs> yeah. So have you, do you ever run with other, with a, with a running partner or group? Or a group? Or, yeah, 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 I have. Yeah. yeah. Do, yeah. do you, do you feel like you run faster or like easier well, when you're doing that? Um, they talk about biking. Yeah. Oh, biking, sure, sure, yeah. But biking, like, I don't know, but biking in a group, or I've done a little bit, but they literally talk about how, um, seeing like looking at the top of a mountain with and you're at the base with someone you trust or a group of people it seems less daunting than mm-hmm. if you're there by yourself and yeah well there's there's kind of like little psychological studies about like yeah like your body will almost like end up telling you you need less energy to do it because like you feel like you're able to tap into the energy of the group and the people around you and um i just i, I don't know i just when she was talking about just i just kept thinking about how like how that yeah we do really like to I think it is natural to want to like get in sync with people. And it's like, you can think about too. And like, if you've ever been in a situation where you're like talking with someone and it just the conversation seems kind of off or just like not quite going right. It's like, you want to try to get in sync. You know, it's like, I think mm-hmm, we do mm-hmm. actually, cause I think like naturally we're just going to like, we know the benefits of like cooperation. They're like instinctually there, I think for us. And, um, so it's always like you know there's always like advantages to cooperate and be in sync and so i think we're like a lot of times subconsciously like trying to like you know do that with people whether it's like rowing or whether it's dancing or whether it's just having a conversation you know music i mean these are these are fundamentals music. of humanity yep. yeah. i mean music you know dancing like you said i mean these are like i mean i mean you, know, you you, you yeah. they do like uh psychological experiments where people would uh you know like get people to tap their feet together right and, and once they tap the feet together they are much more agreeable with each other <laughs> <laughs> just because they they are able to you know kind of kind of like do the same thing and to me the, the the way i feel is that the 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 more unison you are in a group the the easiest for you to get into the flow state they, so that they, they, you can do a like two a two person right and they can help you you know folks as well but if you're in a team of three, four, five, or eight people, if eight pe- if seven people are in unison and you're the one odd out, it's easier for you to get into unison with them. And once you do that, um, you are essentially being in a flow state too. You, it's easy for you to get into the flow state just because you think about everybody's doing the rowing and you are rowing and all you can feel is the, the rowing itself. You, 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 don't, you don't think about the other, that, no, basically you, you kind of tune out everything else because the, 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 I guess the, the repetitions of more individuals make it stronger for the, for, for the frequency or the wavelength that, that, that 
you jive with? There, there's, I don't know why I keep getting this thought in my head of, um, I don't know if it was a Queen concert or something. Somebody when they were playing like Wembley Stadium and they were like singing a really famous song and they just like, I think like the, the microphone went out on accident or whatever and the crowd just like picked it up. And like, there's like this amazing video of them just mm -hmm. like singing the whole song and in unison and the whole crowd is just like, you know, mm -hmm. like just like, it's just, it's just like incredible. Like, you know, voice just comes from all these people and they're all just like connected together and, you know, pick it up immediately. And, and like, it, it, it's, you know, I mean, you see this at concerts all the time, you know, it's like, like, you know, people moving and dancing to a, you know, like an EDM concert. I mean, it's probably why EDM is so popular because you just, it's just like collective movement, you know, and it, it's just really cool to see from a, and sometimes it's involuntary. Yeah. It's involuntary, it's involuntary right. too, just because when you're in, when you're in, like you, know, you say, in some concert or, or in in some kind of a, a sports event where you know there's some kind of uh, a, a you know the wave, a, yeah, a, yeah. A wave, whatever you do the <laughs> wave, and you know you should do the wave because it, it's just one of those things where you you can't help it. Sometimes you don't think about it when your wave comes. You just, <laughs> you think about mm -hmm. it. And I, have you been in in those places where oh uh, I think I'm gonna do the wave or I, I I'm gonna decide to do the wave or not to do it. You just don't think about it. Just do it, right? Right. It's mm -hmm. it's involuntary in a way. And same thing so with, cool the, with the music and the, the concert, side. right? Yeah. <laughs> so collectively, cool. we we have we have that the a desire to be in a unison with other people, and especially mm -hmm. whenever you have uh, the the people that in your team that you have meaningful relationship with, meaningful connection, meaning that if I say something, you understand that, right? Because we talked about the, yesterday, if you share something but the other person doesn't understand it, it does. It actually sucks. It's worse. It, it, mm -hmm. it, it's 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 horrible. Right? Yeah, it's worthless. I mean, it's literally it's worthless. I mean, it's it's. But but to get into get into the rhythm with the people that understands you and what you say, it actually elevates you so much higher in terms of your your, I guess. Joy, like joyful feeling um, of, of being and right. getting to a flow state is much easier uh, in a team sport. So I, I think, you know, for me, is a team of, you know, mm. uh, four or five people, it, uh, yeah. it's probably going to be much, much um, better to get into a flow state than a team of two. But yeah. you know, a two, it's infinitely more than one. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, yeah, that made me, it made me think about, like, even Chris is talking about, like, you know, but working individually, like, you know, you can kind of get in that flow state or I even feel for myself sometimes when I'm running and it's like, let's say I've had like a stressful day and like all these thoughts in my head, like going for like a nice long run. It's like almost like even though like running is just running, but it's like almost like my thoughts are able to like to get in like a flow state. And I'm almost a, a lot like able to have a synchronicity with them. You know, it's not like there's like it's like all of a sudden there's not so much conflicting like. uh tension between things it's like oh yeah. this boom kind of like things like almost like come to light or something and i don't know what that and i still don't know why that happens or whatever you know when i run or whatever kind of is a de-stress thing but that's um, like that's like a god thing honestly it's like a meditation that's why we that's like prayer or meditation you know i mean connecting with i mean i don't know what you want to call it but like your inner voice you know or something like that you know uh, i mean like i guess you can get in swing with your your in tune with your own emotions and Mm -hmm. and your own you know uh the multitudes within you you know your your thoughts your consciousness your you know connectivity to the universe your i mean like it could probably go both ways right like and we we think of others as, as as other you know humans i would say but i mean i'm just kind of you know talking off the cuff right now but if you're not connected to yourself and not mm -hmm. in swing with yourself you know how can you be in swing with other people right like i mean mm -hmm. it's like if you know do you know what i mean like if you no, like i, in do, your I, core, I do yeah. i mean I, and i yeah. think well yeah like whether it's like Sometimes you're actually listening to yourself because I've been thinking about recently, like how important, like we all like to be heard mm -hmm. and yet, like, why did the fact of wanting to be heard evolve? Well, the only thing that actually, the only things that do evolve or the only things that actually continue and that are on in life today are things that have sustained themselves or things that have replicated. So it's like, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to kind of piece things together these days when I'm thinking about it, like, so the reason we like to be heard is because being heard was almost like an evolutionary advantage or something. I don't know. I'm sure. Cause we needed to share with each other. Cause like when we we're, cause like as true was kind of alluding to, I think he didn't we also, go all we, the way to say it, but yeah. Yeah. Ahead. Cause we also can share like important information. Like 
I mean, oh my God, Chris, there's a lion behind you. Like, Chris, there's a fucking lion behind you. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's, I was going to say, like, you know, our, I mean, he, he kind of, true kind of stopped short of saying this, but he basically said it like, you know, that's, that's kind of our collective superpower as a human race that catapulted us forward amongst everybody is our ability to cooperate and be in unison, you know, um, with important mm -hmm. things. Right? I mean, it might be something as stupid as a song. Or it might be something as important yeah. as, you know, we're hunting dinner yeah. together or whatever, well, you know. It, you know. Yeah. And I think, I mean, a lot of, you know, a lot of species cooperate together, whether you think of bees or, or ants or things like that. And it's, you know, and I don't know much about the ah, ant. Those, those are, those are family members though. They're not, uh, they're, they're they don't cooperate outside of their family. Those are all, they're all. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Uh, and uh, uh, one, 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 uh, one colony uh, against another colony, they don't, they, they will uh -huh. together. Yeah, interesting. They, it's because they're that's why you have like a queen bee, right? They're all they're yep. all they're all yeah. kids, you know, they're all cousins, you know, basically of each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh and then you same thing with small ant, mafias, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's, what, that's <laughs> basically what it is. They, well, the thing is with, with bees, because it's interesting you say that because with bees, they do cooperate and you see it with um, you know, ants and other there are other like, you know, uh living entities in this world that do you know cooperate. Obviously, even bacteria cooperate on a lot of levels, you know, uh -huh. just like to colonize your gut or what. But the um uh the um bees and 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 ants they don't have any individualistic uh traits like they just do whatever's needed by the colony because they're brothers and sisters right like if you're like if your family think about your family right you know if your family's like hey snow I need you to go do the trash and you're like i'm not a trash person you know but they're like just fucking take the trash out like we need to do that for the family you know what i mean and you're like okay fine i'll do it you know you know what i mean you like like we don't, like eventually you just do these things you don't want to do and you'll sacrifice you know for your yep. family just because it's your family right you'll you'll because mm -hmm. you want to deep down inside continue on your your you know your dna now, yeah, even if you don't want to your genes want your genes exactly. want to it which i think is funny like if you look at like how like why happiness can be so challenging in the modern life because your genes don't want you to be happy. Your genes just want you to reproduce and they want your kin to reproduce and they want yeah. your brother's kins to reproduce. <laughs> but, to, but to reproduce, you need to be happy probably. Uh, I mean, there's uh, clearly no, a revenue. I don't, I don't think that's true. No, no, I didn't, not, not to, the most likely people to reproduce are probably people that are happy um uh is is probably why we want to be happy whatever that term is right like, to be happy you know, to be happy in a, in in my my world is the absence of misery there you go i would rather yeah, I, like, so I think a lot of people can just have like concepts yeah. like happiness is really just like some concept that we decided to make up for through language but i feel like in like in like society but like reproducing is just like reproducing you know? yeah but but who do you gravitate toward me, what do you mean? Who do I gravitate? What do you mean? Who, do, who does anybody gravitate toward? Do they gravitate toward the, you know, Oscar the Grouch in the trash can, or do they gravitate <laughs> toward, you know, the happy, the happy go lucky dude that's like, you know, that seems like they're confident, living their best life, you know, like ha feel like they're I on mean, purpose. You, you, know? you, you, you hmm. gravitate well, towards well, an well, angry well, man or well, a, a, a well, happy what, man. Well, there's some, <laughs> evolutionary, <laughs> there's some evolutionary psychology behind that, and that we're going to want to gravitate and be friends with people who we feel like can can high heighten our social status right. so that's why mm -hmm. you're gonna really want to be friends with somebody who's like seems like you know they're more in control you know like rather than something like grouch who's really blaming something because like really it's just you think it's gonna raise your social status to be near them sure. Wh whatever evolutionarily reason is we're attracted more toward people that are right i think that the, the, the more stable the, the more you <laughs> adhere right. the more you adhere to your your genes once the less oh, miserable yeah. you will be <laughs> that means i the happier you will <laughs> you are i mean i mean if you're on a team um and you're and you're trying to find your swing like do you want instable people and insecure people and people that you know you can't trust no but that's either? that's gonna lower your that's gonna lower your status no i know that's what i'm saying it's like you you can't like the people that are the most stable people usually are the people that are the most probably fulfilled you know um uh mm -hmm. and and purpose driven. call it happy whatever you want to call it like i don't know mm -hmm. what that state of of you know fulfillment is but like feeling like they're in a balanced fulfilled state right they're mm -hmm. they're people that are usually secure and stable and like that's 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 attractive to other people because they like we like stability and consistency right mm -hmm. we don't want erratic psychopathic behavior all the time because we don't know how to process that like we're mm -hmm. like i don't i don't yeah. 
I mean, I, you, I can't. And, and, I, and I think I think there are some themes like completely like, you know, throughout times. But it's like, you know, they talk about how but this this idea of what satisfaction and no, not what satisfaction, what status is, though, is based upon like cultural norms. Like what what does it mean to be a, a high status? Like, you know, these days it's like, you know, well, being humble, it's like, you know, a good status thing. We don't like to see people who are. And, and yet that's kind of can change from culture to culture, you know, like. The Eastern culture is very different than the Western culture in terms of like, what does it mean to be like, uh, you know, certain levels of status, I guess. I don't know. This is all I'm saying. Yeah, um, I, I agree. I just, I think as, especially as it relates to this conversation of finding your swing with a group of people, like if I know that you're prone to, to completely go off the fucking rocker, like I don't want to get in a boat with you. Oh, you know? totally. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, yep. uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't yep. care. Like, I don't yep. care if you're a high status person or not. Like if, I if you you fuck me over one time I'm gonna remember it right you know oh, yeah. and, no we, and, and, and we do we do yep. yeah yeah like I mean I I can't find my swing with erratic people right you know uh -huh. like if true if true only came to this you know once every five episodes I'd be like fuck it I don't want to fucking do this with him you know I don't uh -huh. care if it's the best episode ever the next day that we get on a call but like if every single day that I want to show up and have a good conversation or maybe even a so so conversation but just have a conversation and true's never is not reliable i don't i don't i'm not gonna he's not gonna be a swinger with me you know what i mean like uh -huh. I, don't, I don't i don't want that right like uh -huh. um you know i mean hell just, well you you can't you can't you can't be in with him with someone you you can't predict right or trust it's not yeah predictable. I mean, you mm -hmm, can't trust mm -hmm. right and so it's all about getting into rhythm and and rhythm is what gives us that i guess collective feeling and that collective feeling uh, it gives you a sense of safety and yeah. it, it it gives us a a an advantage in a way a, a uh, an evolutional evolutionary advantage. Yeah. That's why it 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 feels better. It feels um you you're not being tortured. Okay, yeah. so to me to me it's like if if you have for for most of my life a lot of things I I have in my head are worries right. Worries of this, worry I I have to pay bills. Worries I have to, um, you know, you know, make sure that I I can provide. I can you know make sure I'm safe or whatever. So it's all these worries. These will make what makes you not happy, meaning not peace. So whenever you say, well, all these are taken care of, I'm able to fulfill what a gene's looking for. Then I feel not bad, i.e. good. Because I, you think about if I will say I'm a human person and I need to breathe oxygen and you put me into a, a room with a bunch of CO2, right? I feel suffocated and that feels bad. And feels bad is the opposite of feeling good, which is not, mm -hmm. not bad. So I think if, if you fulfill the DNA's or the genes wants, you become this non- um, I guess pain, <laughs> not stress, mm. non. Uh, however, how are you? Yeah. you, 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 yeah, you, but, you, you but, but that's that, but but that's still always going to be like uh, what do they call it? The hedonic treadmill, though, you know, because like you know the especially guys always well, think well, end up well, like not, we, well, I don't, I don't, we can I don't think, more status or we can make. Well, the thing is, the, I think there are certain traits that do give you that, but a certain trait that you don't because. Uh, for example, I say I want to breathe air, right? But the thing is, the what I'm breathing is optimal enough. If if I say, well, I like oxygen, but I go into a place where there is more oxygen, I don't feel like I'm better or I want more oxygen because when I go beyond that threshold of oxygen uh, mixture, then mm. my body tells me, hey, you know, it, it's um, it's hard to breathe or I get lightheaded or whatever, whatever. The symptoms is my body is telling me this is not optimal. So it tells me that at this state, I feel good. I don't I don't have to worry about the breathing part. I can worry about, you know, um, making friends or do whatever. But at that at that optimal state, I'm fulfilled. The hedonic state, I think it's a little bit that, that's about uh, pleasure. That like you you the, like hedonic the hedonic treadmill is like seeking only pleasure. I, I don't think either one of us is saying like we're saying seek what is aligned like a, 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 a in a balanced state like right you know um, 
Like that doesn't necessarily always mean that it's. The but I think it's it's about it's about being ful- uh, about fulfilling <laughs> the gene's right, right. wishes, right? Because right. Uh, having a status does not fulfill the gene's wishes. Because I think the status is what we as a as a human species have come to agree what that is, and that is really isn't the exact fit, exact feel for the gene. And you say, well, you give me this. It's all right, but it's not the right one. You know, I want, you know, give me a flower. No, it's not the right flower. I want a particular flower or whatever it is. I need that. And so I think uh, if you, if you have gone to the, to the, um, I guess on that particular journey where you're trying to find something to fulfill, but what you're providing the, the, the system or your gene is not exactly. So you think about, let's say you, you have a, uh, some kind of like a candy machine and, and it needs a quarter, right? But you can put it in a, a, a nickel, it will take it, right? But it's not the right size or the right whatever. And they say, well, I can't give you the the price, whatever the candy is. I can't mm-hmm. give it to you because it's not the exact. It's similar, but it's not exact. So as a, as a human, we construct the statuses as a, I guess a symbolic way to to measure the 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 safety ladder of, of, of a way. And so so that it kind of fills in the the evolutional need to be in a group, to be in, in, in to be like not the last and, and, and get you know get left behind and get eaten, right? But to get as to the top as possible. But that is essentially um more like a decoy or it's not real it, it, it's it's not the exact need that the gene wants and so you keep looking for it you get something and oh no no not the right one you get, so you put in a uh you put in a penny okay it, it starts to process no nope, okay and then you put in a, a dime it's up the process nope so it's keep asking you for more and more because that's the hit on certainly that i'm thinking about because you're giving it something but it's not what it wants. So it's continue to ask for more and more and more and more. But I think if you give it exactly what it wants, it'll stop. Just like breathing, for example, it'll stop, right? So, so when, when, you, when, you, when you go and you have a meaningful relationship, right? Um, you say, hey, I like this. This is, this is, this is great. Yeah. I don't want anything more, uh-huh. right? But, because, but, 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 certain, feel like, but, but things like, Things don't last forever because you have a satisfied meal. Like, ah, oh, man, I do not need any more. I am satisfied. But what's going to happen in eight hours? Ah, oh, shit, I'm hungry. You know, I'm not satisfied wait, wait, anymore. Because, yes, so, because... I mean, like, it's like pleasure or, fle- or pleasure or happiness is always fleeting, you know? Well, I think like, it, 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 it asks you for, for, it asks you for a, a, it asks you Which for is like another good, quarter. <laughs> if, we, if, if we ate and then we were satisfied for the rest of our life, we would die. That's true. Yeah, I mean, the, the, well, I, that's, that's a really good point. I think you, that's why, that's why balance is the word for me because it's always uh-huh. a balancing act, right? Like it's, you're never in a perfect aligned state. Like, you know, sometimes you're going to go this way, sometimes you're going to go this way and you got to find your way back to, you know, to, to feeling, okay, I'm hungry, but I'm not super hungry. I mean, but I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm I've got food, enough food to like do what I need to do. And it was a good meal, but I'm not like, you know, like to, to your point of, like not overeating, not under eating, but like, you know, maybe sometimes you strategically do that, you know, if you're mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, but, but, but either way, it's always a balancing act because like balance is never, you're never perfectly in, in balance, right? Like it's always a little off either way, but you're, but you're the one that has to tip the scales one way or the other to, to make sure that you, wherever you are, are in uh, the place that you want to be, or at least going back toward the place you want to be, right? Like, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. That that's why I am such a huge believer of, like, this is why Club and E and and True and I both, you know, connect on on balance as as one of our core values of Club and E, and why yeah. you know it's the one of the biggest things we did with the whole core values quest, and uh-huh. you know, I mean all these things, right? Because it's like yeah. we don't, we don't want extremes. Like, I don't want yeah. I don't yeah. I don't want right. Elon Musk, you know, fucking people like around me. He's uh-huh. fucking, yeah. Or it's, or it's so easy, Chris, like you say, like to get out of balance because whether just something happened too, like, oh shit, like all of a sudden came up and you had to go drive to, I don't know, the grocery, you know, something came up or I had to go drive to the grocery store. Then like got get certain, you out of balance because, oh shit, then how am I getting going to get my workout in or I was supposed to do this or meet up with these people. So, I mean, I, I agree. That it's like, you know, there's, 
And uh, you, so you have to be aware that well, there's always going to be th things that throw you off balance, but then getting back on balance, whether through your core values or, you know, whatever to, to actually bring you back in balance. Right. Yeah. Whatever your stri philosophical strategies are, the, mm -hmm. like true was saying the, the, the mantras, right? Like the boys in the boat had a mantra. It was called a uh, mind in the boat. Um, they would say to each other, MIB, MIB, you know, like, you know, when they would mm -hmm. see that they were like, they were, they were drifting from the boat. Right. And they could tell that they were distracted. They're like, Hey, yeah. get your mind in the boat, you know? And they're like, Oh, okay. All right. My mind's in the boat. We're all together. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, like, and that's all I'm focused on right now, you know? So like, that is why mantras matter. That is why, values matter those are mantras you know for the most part that's why all the things that you know to that sort of focus about, to, to to focus to be able to focus on on something right to bring you back toward where you want to go you know to mm -hmm. be like oh okay you're drifting like get the fuck back on uh you know you know toward where you want to be uh and, and you know and true will say you know a beaver must dam or you know i don't run for train I, I keep i keep telling chris every time he comes he comes and he has some kind of like a, a stressful day at work and i keep saying don't want for training ah oh, okay yeah yeah <laughs> I, right. like joke, I, i'll do know? that right and so right. so it's like like taking a chew pill you know so that's the thing is you know a lot of a lot of people need to have mantra for for you to to make that shortcut because like uh they don't want for train there's a huge backstory behind it the beaver must stand is a huge backstory behind it the mib in in the book i'm sure there's a huge backstory yeah, behind yeah. it everybody understand what it is and the significance of it, and then and it's easy for them to okay, you know, if I if I were to be reminded of MIB, I can get to the that, to that image and I can start to roll and I can get up to speed so quickly. Other mm -hmm. than other than, otherwise, you're gonna have to sit there and, and spend I don't know, countless number of minutes and hours maybe trying to explain to you MIB means this and this is how you do because a lot of time they, if if you and I talk about hey. You know, you just meditate. You know, if we don't know what meditation is and we don't talk about meditation, there are thousands of things we can There's think about in terms of medit like, right, what yeah. meditation means to us. We want to go sit in the corner out, and hum, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, for sure. It's, I think it's it's incredibly important to get you back into balanced state to, to swing, to swing, right? Like you got, like, you, like just think about if you showed up, how many days you know, of, a, of any given point in time in your day when your mood is fluctuating up and down and you let it, you had to go, you had to go swing with somebody, right? Like if you just always took whatever baggage you just, you walked into that with and like, that was how you were uh -huh. going to show up that day. You're fucked. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I, I, right before this call, like, no, I shit you not. Like I've this stupid rucksack running every day. Like <laughs> my back hurts so bad. I had the worst throbbing fucking headache. I, today there was like so many crazy things going on at work. I was like, oh my God, you know, I am fucking like tired of shit. I want to go to bed. You know, immediately, like, like we hear, I hear, you know, a, a, a beaver must dam or whatever the fuck it is, or even just, you know, just getting on the call with you guys, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, all right, you know, mind kind of my own mind in the boat, you know, like, mm -hmm, like, let's have mm -hmm. fun. like and I don't have a headache right now, you know, like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm fine. Like I have plenty of energy. Like I'll probably crash as soon as this call is over and I'll probably just go to bed and, you know, like and go man what a long day like always but like that, that's the best days ever right you know but this is why like you know how you find your swing with people right like you, mm -hmm. you give each other energy and you enjoy the call conversations and you enjoy the time you know um you spend with them and, and it just gets better and better right um and, it, I mean, and the thing and the thing is you know the, the more the more you you in sync with the other person is like i say it's very easy to get to flow state because i say that because i do this Every time I, I get onto this call, because whatever I do on this call, my attention is 100 focused on on the call. Like I don't know what's going on. I'm like I have four kids, okay? <laughs> there are things to do, and I completely forget about what I promised people. Whatever, like I could. I mean, once I'm on the call with Chris, like I'm I'm here. Like I don't remember anything that was said to me or whatever. So I'm always getting to a flow state because when when we got on this 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 car it's um it's like i'm in my own uh, like sphere <laughs> yeah. right and like a lot of times i say oh shit i forgot about this mm -hmm. I, I do that so many times but i say oops sorry yeah I, I completely forgot you know that you know we, we want you know we want to do this blah blah one thing i mean even if, if somebody asked me my daughter asked me something right before i get on the car and I promise that I might do something. The moment I get it on the car, that thought disappears. It completely disappears. Mind of the boat. I, it's like, hey, you know, dad, give me, give me the credit card. Uh, 
uh, you know, so I can go and order something from Amazon, right? <laughs> and when I get a car, that thought's completely disappeared. It's like, oh shit, and it's giving you the credit card. <laughs> And so, so to me, you know, having having somebody to share your thought that is being appreciated and receptive, I think that makes you, I don't know, it, it gives you energy and it gives you that 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 joyful feeling that uh, of life, right? It's, it, it's, it's, it makes life more enjoyable. It makes it it makes you feel happy, you know. I mean, or not, not happy, whatever. Happy is. I don't know. Let's not use it. Fulfilled. Define, how about, how about... Def, define however you want to define it. But for me, it's like, you know, if 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 I am giving my body what it asks for, it doesn't bug me. It doesn't tug on me. To, hey, you know, I need food. I need to breathe air. Or it gives me this awful feelings of, you know, pain, exhaustion, headaches, whatever. Those things, if it goes away, let's say you have a headache, right? When a headache goes away, it feels good. Yeah, feels great. Okay, all right. Sorry. So I'm gonna do what I always do because we always do this. Like we're way we're we're already past. So all right, fi- final thoughts. You know, for for the night. Uh, um, Snow, any 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 final thoughts you want to share? Um, I want to go swing with my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, no, it was a great conversation. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think it was uh, it was a neat conversation just to uh, think about like uh, human energy when. Uh, humans are in that flow state together and just like just really brought me back down to um the uh the greatness of like being with people and um making sure in like my life I take advantage of those awe-inspiring experiences whether it's going to a concert or um dancing or singing in a choir or playing in a soccer game and just uh, when things are just to to be present in those moments and just sort of uh um find pleasure in those uh in those moments um you know in our, throughout our life yeah I like that um hopefully you can do that every day honestly that that's the, that's the that's, that's the, the uh the the that's the, the, the holy grail right you know yeah. like find find people you can swing with every day you know mm-hmm. that you can do your meaningful work with where it's like never gets old right you know it's mm-hmm. always fun and uh and you can always you know do what you want to do um I, I, I like that um true any any final thoughts yeah, meaningful work, meaningful relationship. And to me, yeah. we keep saying that. And and this is just another uh, proof uh, of evidence, you know, that we have to have other people to make our life fulfill and and to elevate that. You you yeah. can't you can't live by yourself, and you can't live only for yourself. You have to live for others as well. Agreed. And uh, I think my final thought is this is a really good book. So if you haven't read it or it looks like that there's, a, there's a movie. I'm, I'm, it's I'm a movie and there's a movie by the same is title. It? Yeah, it yeah. came out in I doubt it's good though. It's probably not as good. I, I don't know. Now I now I need to go watch the movie, but the book was like like man, I, I swear to you, it was one of those books where you're just like start to finish, you know, just like totally. Yeah, books are usually usually, you know, uh better because when it's um it's hard to make the details in a visual uh you know depiction yeah. so you, you, you're gonna you're gonna start to lose some uh, some some of the the context well they try to condense all this down to two hours or whatever it is you know and it's like it's hard to um uh yeah because it's yeah. it's also it's like you know when when you when you when you are creating something magically uh, using the word right that is much easier than having to replicate and show you what that means I mean it, I, you can say hey I can draw you a house right build a house for me I can draw whatever I want I can draw like hey uh, put the uh, you know put a giant you know uh, moon on top of this one you know one <laughs> you know uh one um, pole or whatever and and it's easy to draw you can draw anything you want you can say hey make that into uh, uh the sun or the moon or whatever and it could be hot or whatever and to actually to fulfill that it's not easy because it's gonna melt the thing or it's too heavy or whatever it's not easy to fulfill something that somebody can imagine and and, and create out so Point. The the movies is not going to be able to fulfill all of the intent of the author's you know imagination. So 
books are usually much better than movies. I mean, even movie, even a very, very good director can get maybe close to it, but can never surpass a book. Unless the director of the movie is the author of the book, um, that maybe they should do that instead of, instead of passing it on to somebody else. All right. I all mean, right. I, 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 anyway, I yeah, 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 yeah. We got, we got. <laughs> let's, let's put it down. Let's put it. The, the, the question we can leave for everybody is: Are you a swinger, uh, or do you have a group to swing with? Maybe. Um, and appreciate you all joining. Thanks for. We'll see you tomorrow. Wait, man.